one of the last roles she did was the um, casino. So I finally had her commenting on the language by that point, which was a written part for, the, for, for Vince Vela. But the improvisation was, I said, Mom, every time he, he says that F word, you tell him, watch his language. $100, whoever hits the plan. And as if things weren't bad enough, in comes Piscano, the Kansas City underboss. You ran that little grocery store in Kansas City where they bought the suitcases. They're fighting over those suitcases again. You know what that means, right? You know what that means, right? That means I gotta take another trip out to Vegas and it's gonna cost me another couple of grand. He ran it with his brother-in-law, but mostly what he did was complain. Complain about his trips to Vegas to his brother-in-law and to his mother all the time. Gotta lay down the law, otherwise they're gonna make a fool out of you. And make a fool out of me. I write it all down in this book. Every fucking nickel that goes down right hey, here. Receipts oh, here. Wow. Receipts here, bills here. Everything's here. Since when do you talk like that? I'm sorry. It's not Nance gives me here. trouble and I'll tell him, screw around with those suitcases and I'll take the eyes out of his freaking the head. Again. I didn't crash that's a freaking head. That's enough. I'm sorry. And what happens next? You can't believe it. I mean, who the hell would believe that the FBI had a wire in the place looking for some information about some old homicide, about some guy who was whacked out God knows when over God knows what? To prevent them with the suitcases that he could take what he wants. Fucking Nancy brings us back two suitcases from the Tangiers, and what about three or four? We got nobody in the room to watch. That's the law. You know we can't even go into the counter to watch our money? Could you believe this cowboy bullshit? And sure, he's got his people in there. But how do you know? They could all be in on it together, those miserable fucks. I'll find out, and if it's Green himself, I'll bury that bastard. I've never trusted him. And you know, I got eyes behind my head. They trust that scumbag, I don't. Right now, the way I feel, I'll hit the two of them in the head with a all fucking right, shovel. Mom, I'm easy. sorry, they're beating me up tonight. Mom, I'm sorry, I'm all upset. I know, you, know, you, know, you know what they're doing to me. I know, well, I can't take I this no more. Back and forth, back and forth. Take it easy. All right, all right. Again, a heart attack. You know, like I'm, that. I'm too upset right now. It was so much fun because we, we kept that stuff for the last week of shooting, and we had fun with him and my mother. We kept it for the last day. And my mother, you know, she'd get a little sometimes two cameras going. She didn't know when we were shooting or not. But he kept, he was very good. You'll see, you'll see, he keeps incorporating her into the improvisation. Oh, so you know? it's in, with your mother, it's My mother was improv, improv, but he had speeches. So she would interrupt the speeches, and he had to then pick up where he was in his energy. Yeah, it was, was very was hard. a little difficult for yeah, me because Marty would say hard. to me, while you're, you're doing your dialogue, she's going to interrupt you. Yeah. And while she interrupts you, turn around and politely say something to her. Yeah, but then mom. remember where you left off and, jump and pick right up. There. And I said, oh, God, Good I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a jam. I'm going to have a jam. Good luck, but I did it. Came off great. We did about 40 takes, but we got it. Yeah. 40 takes. Yeah. Yeah, oh. It, it, it was very, you know, it was hard. It was hard because cutting, in, cutting off the energy of it, you had to be careful. And then we covered ourselves fairly well, and Thelma and I cut it. We did like 20 cuts of that, that scene. We finally got it sure down. Did. And then has to be put to this. And the damn thing is, they go and hear all this stuff about Las Vegas and the casinos and suitcases, and well, that's it. I have it. to start handling things the way I did years ago, start kicking ass. I'll, I'll do it, and I'll use the goddamn shovel. Because you are everything's right. coming out of my pocket. I gotta pay for all these you trips are back right, and forth, back what and can forth. I tell you? Would you believe that such a thing could happen? I'm in this to make money, not to lose money. And I, I Every I FBI know, man across the country had their ears open now. Because if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Then do it the way you want. What can I tell you? I mean, Piscano, this guy, basically sunk the whole world. That's the way people want. And I couldn't believe this shit. Piscano's expense reports took the cake. Oh, this is good. Bingo. He might as well have given him a fucking blueprint. Everybody's names, addresses, dates, everything. Look at this. Thank you so much, Mr. Piscano. How considerate of you. Appreciate it. Those are my mother's books. Right. You're under arrest. What a fucking balloon head. Wait a minute, he's sick. Move back. Come on. Dave, we are now. Poor Artie. He got so upset he had a heart attack and dropped dead right there in front of his wife. Nah, that ain't him. Bargo said it was a black guy, remember? So what's this guy? So what are you, Puerto Rican? I think he's some sort of an Indian or something. Yo, what the hell are you? Cayuga. Cayuga? What the fuck is Cayuga? Puerto Rican Indian nigga, same thing. I think we should just waste him anyway, just to be sure for Mr. Vargo. Well, it ain't authorized, so come on, let's go. I want to get the right son of a bitch anyhow. Stupid fucking white man. What did you say? I said stupid fucking white man. Why, you red nigga looking, sitting bullshit hey, 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 motherfucker? Hey, hey. Sam, you're losing control over here. 
Come on, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Cut you got my ass, you. Listen, you. You better learn to keep your fucking mouth shut. I'll blow your fucking brains out myself. You dumb fuck. Hello, I'm Bob Solo. I'm with Westside Realty. I have an appointment with Mr. Vago. How the hell did you get in the gate, Mr. Solo? Oh, Mr. Valerio, he gave me the code. But this is a very important meeting, and I may have a buyer for the estate here. You know what? Go inside, Sammy, and check this out. I'll stay here with our Mr. Solo. 